Hey guys, this is DC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is simple and effective ways to clean out your condensate lines for your air conditioning system and your condensate lines for your furnace. I'm going to show you techniques in order to blow that out as well as to vacuum it out. So the trap is usually what gets clogged in the evaporator coil for air conditioning system and then also your condensate trap for your furnace. So a simple technique is just to blow it out with a 10 cent piece of clear vinyl tubing and then some electrical tape. So you just stick that right down in there and then you go ahead and blow and that pushes it forward. The issue is it's still in there but at least you got that unclogged and the system will operate. Another way to do it is with compressed air and on this one I have electrical tape right, right there. When we push this right down in there you want to get past this part of the T. You want to get down into the trap. If you don't have an extension piece like this, you could just use a piece of 3 8 copper like this and the same thing, okay? Some people like to use this connected to their nitrogen bottle or CO2. Uh, the, I do use this, but I don't use it for this just because it doesn't get me past that part of the T where some of the air will go that way. It is in a direction where it's going to go downwards, but I like to have less, less uh, pressure and to also be down in here. I typically use about 30 PSI, no higher than that. Now if we're going to vacuum this trap out, we need to go ahead and move this condensate pump down. So, let's see. Now in order to connect to this, it's very simple. We just have a piece of 3 quarter PVC and our 90 right here. And we just go ahead and put it up like this and go ahead and turn our shop back on. After we do that, we want to go ahead and add some more water in, and this is going to help flush whatever's in the trap, out of the trap. So you always want to go ahead and do that. Then after we're done, we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit more water into the trap. You want to make sure that this always has water in the trap, and all it's doing is it's providing water weight so that when this furnace is operating and pushing the air across this evaporator coil, the air stops and doesn't come down past this trap. So it, if it does, if the air does come past here because there's no water weight in here, then the condensate that's in this pan will end up overflowing if this is running for a long period of time. So that's why we always fill up our traps after we clean them out. And also remember, if you have a pipe like this sticking outside of your building, you can take your shot back just like this and come right up under there and go ahead and suck it out. The thing is, it's not going to clean anything else out unless you have water at the top over at your trap. So you want to go ahead and add the water back into this again and in order to vacuum it out. While you have this condensate trap down, you can actually open it up. This just unsnaps right here and you can get right into the bottom basin, clean that out. And then also there's a little check valve right here uh, that's a one-way check for when it pumps the water up through the tube. It doesn't just all come back down inside the pump again. So I would go ahead and clean this little check valve out as well. Always make sure to have your cap back on here once again once you're done so that the air doesn't escape coming out of the top. Now if we're going to blow this condensate trap out, the first thing you want to do is make sure that this pressure switch is disconnected uh, from the tubing just to make sure that you don't have negative pressure or positive pressure attached to this which would uh, potentially break it. Now we're going to go ahead and disconnect these other three tubes and we'll use needle nose pliers to squeeze the rings so there we have our three tubes now if this is a preventative maintenance you want to make sure that you add water into the trap because the trap will be dry if it's the uh, beginning of winter now when you're adding pressure into these you want to make sure that you have these tubes shut and the other one is the one that we're going to add pressure into. We'll add water again. So that's how you blow out this condensate trap. And then you're just going to make sure that you put all this back together and make sure you have your rings in place. And you also want to make sure that you have 
water back in the trap again. Now if you're going to vacuum it out, it's going to be even simpler and we just use a two gallon shop vac. And on the end of the hose, I just have some fittings made up in order to reduce down between three quarter and then half inch CPVC. A lot of these 90% efficient furnaces use sizes that are uh, matched up to half inch CPVC. So in this case, what we'll do is we're just going to pull this line right out, right here like this. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera over a little bit. And we just go ahead and attach that right onto here. And then turn our shop back on. Now that's going to give you the best results because what's going to happen is it's going to pull everything from these tubes through the trap and through this tube. So if you can get to it and you can vacuum, I would go ahead and do that. Now if uh, right here, if you can't get over here, maybe you can get over here. Just change our setup a little bit and just go ahead and disconnect that. So that's how we will go ahead and vacuum this part out. Regardless, after you're done, I would go ahead and add some water back in here again just to have the furnace operate the way it should. After you're done working on the furnace, make sure that you put your tube back in to the pressure switch. In this case, we wouldn't have hurt the pressure switch if we left that together, but just in case yours is built differently or the pressure switch is connected to the condensate trap or whatever, like I said, I always just disconnect this just to be on the safe side. Make sure you do a once over just to make sure that you have everything connected back in again and your, both your traps are filled back up again. I would also test your condensate pump out and make sure that it's operating correctly as it should and just go ahead and fill it up right here. You just add water into this trap and into this pump until you hear the pump turn on and then you want to watch the water level go down just to make sure that it's operating correctly. If you're looking for the fittings used in this video or the blowout guns that are used in this video, I have them all linked down in the description below. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.